Assalamualaikum dear students today we will study about parts of roads so let's start the video what are the component of road structures in this article we'll study about components of the roads and the structure of the roads and its composition after reading this article you will understand a lot about component of the road structure we will try to make it as simple it can be the basic component of the highway or the road with cross slope pavement road margins traffic separates and curbs cross slope chambers carry way median curves road margin width of roadway right of way here are few components of road structure which are going to be discussed below which are as follow carriage way formation with curb road margin medians chambers right of way median curves road margin width of roadway right of way first of all we study about carriage way carriage way is the width of the road on which traffic moves without any restriction it generally consists of traffic lines and the width of the carriage way depends on the lines of traffic traffic lines are the lines on which traffic can move freely without any restriction each country has its own rules for the width of carriage way for instance how long should be in some country for single lines road it's 2.44 meter in some it more than that for two lines it's 3.75 meter in some more than that second one is formation width the formation width of the road is the sum of carriage way shoulder and spreaders if they are in any third one is curb curb is the boundary line formed from stone or concrete block which separate the carriage way from footpath there are different types of curb with different type of height there are four type of curb which are low or mountable curbs semi buried curbs and for example low curbs are used for traffic to remains in line and also separate the shoulder from the road so the driver can enter the shoulder area with little difficulty it height is 10 cm a semi barrier curb has height of 15 cm 6 inches barrier curbs has a height of 20 cm they are provided where pedestrian traffic is in considerable amount Submerged curbs are used in rural roads to basically provide stability to the road's pavement. Next one is road margin. The part of road accepted carriage way or usually called road margin, it include different parts or elements of road which are given below. Shoulders, bus space, parking lines, sidewalks, service road, cycle track and guardrails, driveway, frontage roads. First of all, we study about shoulder. Shoulder is a part of formation with accept carriage way provided alongside the carriage way is basically a road for an emergency use for ambiance in rush or or to stop a vehicle for repairing purposes and it can be used for extension of road in future the width of the shoulder is kept in between 2.5 meter to 4.6 meter next one is bus space bus space or bus stops or stations on the side of a road where the bus can stop safely to pick up passengers or drop off without disturbing the traffic flow they are provided at the 75 meter to 50 feet away from the intersection of road next one is parking lines in urban roads they usually provided parking on the road side and parallel parking in prefers because it does not disturb the traffic flow its width is 3 meter or 10 feet next one is sidewalks or footpaths sidewalks and footpath is a some word when there is a heavy amount of traffic and pedestrian flow or special paved area is provided for the pedestrian to walk safely on it without any accident next one is service road service road are provided parallel to the main road and also connect the main highway express way they are separate from the main road and are connected to highway at selected points they are provided to not stop the traffic flow next one is cycle track cycle track are provided in those areas where the cycle traffic volume is high then width of the cycle track is kept between 2 to 3 meter or in other words 6 to 10 feet guardrails guardrails are usually provided on the shoulder of the road if the fill in more than 3 meter or 10 feet they are provided their main is a uh, purpose to restrict them from falling off the road and the prevent from serious accident guardrails are made of different types and in different shapes they are either made of steel concrete and stone they are painted white or yellow for better visibility next one is medians medians are provided to isolate traffic their main areas purpose is to restrict the collisions of traffic that are moving in opposite direction of an another chamber chamber or cross slope is provided in the middle of the road and carriage way for the drainage of rain water from road surface the main purpose of chamber is to 
prevent water from entering of the subgrade of the road the road quickly drains which prevents the traffic from slipping off the road which decrease the accident rate the height of chamber depends upon the material of road and the intensity of rainfall in the region the value of the chamber varies for 1 to 25 or 1 to 50 next one is right of way right of way is the total land required for the construction of road which include carriage way footpath and future extension the right of way depends upon the importance of the road for the future extension next one is drive way drive way joins the highway with commercial uh, organizations or building such as gas station filling station gas line station and petrol station etc next one is frontage roads frontage roads is constructed to give acquired properties along an extension highway it can be run parallel to the highway and segregated by separators thanks for watching our video welcome in the next video until then you will take care of yourself allah hafiz